Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. I would like to thank Noah. Noah sent me a very generous PayPal donation and a, and a request to answer some questions. Thank you so much, Noah. I very much appreciate it, and I will be more than happy to answer these questions for you. And I want to thank everybody who has donated to the channel. I mean, you guys and the support that you have for, for this channel is just overwhelming. I mean, at times, I'm not even sure what it is that I'm supposed to do next. And, you know, for, for something that I never thought would ever take off, to to have this sort of... Uh, to have this sort of thing going on is something that I just never thought would be in my life. So, thank you guys. I can, I can never show enough appreciation for what you guys have done for me. All right? Um, let's get on with the questions here. And I got mail call for you, so don't, don't leave before you get to see what's in the mail. All right. Uh, first question. Do you think electric vehicles will become popular for most people? Absolutely, I do. Now, how long that takes before everybody transitions out of like a fossil fuel type of vehicle into an all electric vehicle is probably quite some time down the road. But will it happen? Sure, at some point. It's already apparent that all the major manufacturers of vehicles are trying to get in some, into some sort of either hybrid or all electric vehicle for even like the full size vehicles. So it's only a matter of time before we see it on a grand scale between all vehicles. However, it's probably not going to happen, like I said, for many years. And it's going to start first, I would imagine, inside of like the gov government vehicles. Like the government vehicles and corporate fleet vehicles and stuff like that will be the first ones to go electric. And then eventually they'll move into the retail where all people will be driving electric vehicles. But again, many, many years down the road. Um used car prices are skyrocketing do you see a slowdown in the used auto purchases similar to what you are seeing in deferring demand for lumber uh similar not the same now i could assume that when it comes to these car purchases a lot of these people are buying these cars because they were able to get the stimulus and if it wasn't for the stimulus, then most of the vehicles that they had purchased or the upgrades in vehicles that they had done probably wouldn't have happened. Now, I'm not saying that people wouldn't have purchased vehicles. I'm just saying that a lot of people had the stimulus and that stimulus went to vehicles. So with the chip shortage, a lot of vehicles didn't come onto market, which means that there's going to be a higher demand for the used vehicles that are out there. Well, that kind of makes sense to why there is a you know, a shortage of used vehicles as people who were looking for a newer or upgraded vehicle can't find them inside of the new vehicles that are out there since they were incomplete and they moved into the higher end used vehicles. So yes, there was a huge depletion of these used vehicles and because of the shortage of chips and the brand new vehicles not making it to market. However, that will shift at some point. So if it was the stimulus that caused the demand for the used vehicles to grow as high as it did at the same time, there was this lack of new inventory coming on the market. Well, then that will switch at some point where the new vehicles will start coming onto the market. So if it's just a matter of getting chips to put into these vehicles, well, then you're going to have these vehicles completed pretty quickly along with brand new vehicles coming on from manufacturing. So you're going to have a wave of new vehicles entering into the market. And these dealers are probably going to be overwhelmed with a lot of these new vehicles coming onto the market as they're trying to clear out the inventory so they can build new ones. So that's kind of what I see happening as far as the shorter term on vehicles. As far as like, I mean, and in, in, over the course of like, you know, a year or two after that, then I would imagine that everything is going to start transitioning more into those electric vehicles. But as of right now, I see a wave of new vehicles coming in at the same time. There could be a wave of used vehicles that also hit the market. If really the moratorium and foreclosures and the, you know, unemployment bonuses if those things come to an end at the same time it could put pressure on people who have taken out loans to buy these used vehicles and what's the first thing to let go your fancy new car that you bought so that could end up taking place with the uh with the used vehicles so anyway um let's see other than lumber what other products 
commodities do you use to judge inflation or the U.S. economic growth? There is a lot of stuff to look at. Ultimately, there's two things that I really kind of follow. Gold and wages. Gold and the labor. Those are like the two things that I follow the most. And over the course of this inflation hype and scare and push and everybody talking inflation, 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 gold really didn't do what I would anticipate a true fear of inflation to do. Because if you're a truly fear of inflation and the destruction of the dollar, everybody would be getting out of assets and into gold. They're getting into the hard asset, the one thing that is away from dollar-denominated things. So if you could get into gold, then you can, you're basically separating yourself away from the banking system. But the demand for gold, although was high and the premiums were high for gold and silver, didn't really do what I would have anticipated an inflation scare to do. And as far as labor goes, well, a lot of this has to do with these unemployment bonuses. Again, once that fades away and people have to go out and get a job in order to eat, then we're going to see a very big change inside of the uh, unemployment, um, which actually leads into the next question here, which is, do you think labor market tightness will continue after unemployment benefits expire? No, I think the tight labor market, as far as unable to find employees to go to work, will probably end pretty dramatically and quickly once the bonuses end as well. Once people get hungry, they will go to work. And I know that there is probably a lot of people out there who will argue about not wanting to go to work for slave wages and stuff like that. Um... I've been unemployed. I've been unemployed in a, in a position where I couldn't collect unemployment. And I tell you, when the rent is, it was actually a house payment that was coming due. Yeah, I would have worked for anything. I would have worked for any job to get any money so that I could have made that payment. And I was not concerned about what the hourly wage was. I was just concerned on what day I was going to get paid. So people will go back to work at some point, I'm assuring you. Okay. Um, I think that covers it. Thank you, Noah. Thank you so much for, uh, for the donation. And thank you very much for, our, um, for the uh, question request. I think that was, uh, those were great questions. Okay. Let's find out what was in the mail. Oh, let me show you guys. Uh, I tried opening up the mail a while back and I had actually, uh, messed up the video and I forgot to bring this back out, but, a, if, but a viewer has sent me a new jean jacket to replace my old work coho car, car heart coat um thank you thank you very much i you know i just i just love your guys's appreciation for the stuff man so thank you uh let's see what's in the mail here this one is from <laughs> teresa so Miss Teresa, oh, this is cool. Wow, all right, a hoodie. I love hoodies. What does it say? Spring Arbor Lumber. Very cool. Is that your lumber yard? Uneducated economist, greetings. I'm a financial manager for a mid-sized lumber company located in Spring Arbor, Michigan. We just celebrated 60 years in business last year. I am, I am a subscriber to your channel and wanted to let you know how... <laughs> fan fantastic it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I... <laughs> I always tune in when I need an update of the lumber industry. What a wild ride this past year has been, to say the least. It is great to hear how others in this industry are hanging on to this roller coaster. I just wanted to send you some gifts to let you know your hard work and dedication is greatly appreciated. Teresa, financial manager, Spring Arbor Lumber Company. Wow, Teresa, thank you so much. What a great, great letter. Awesome. Check out the t-shirt. All right, is there a logo on the back? 
Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Look, it's got the old school delivery truck. Very, very cool. And you know how much I love hoodies. I wear hoodies all the time. They're actually a must up here in the Pacific Northwest. If you do not have hoodies, you are not comfortable. So again, oops, let's flip the hood over the front. And then yes, it's got the same logo on the back. Thank you so much, Teresa. That is that is so right on. And oh, uh, the planner. And these are pretty cool. Um, yeah, we actually, uh, I believe we actually have the same one, different advertising in it, but it's the same company, I believe, which I think is just great. So thank you. I could actually use this for starting to scheduling my interviews since I seem to miss them on occasion, which I do apologize for that guy, sorry. Uh, let's see what's in the next one. What did I do with my knife? There we go. Okay, so this one is from a Mr. Williams from Georgia. Three Angels Messages in Summary. All right, some religious speak. A shocking glimpse behind the scenes. National Sunday Law. Forces unite amid stupendous crisis. A stupendous crisis awaits, the, awaits us. The book you have in your hand takes you behind the scenes and explores the shocking who, how, and when. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Williams, for sending me the literature. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for everything you guys do for the channel. Uneducated Economist, you guys let me know.